heart to Christ. But then again, um, we're thinking maybe Lee brought Junior to your church as well. Maybe he was scoping out churches to find victims, um, you know, before this happened to Junior. Okay. Are you aware what ha- are you aware what happened? No, I have no knowledge at all. Mm. Okay, well, I'm in Albuquerque. My name's Joanna Maynard. I'm just collecting some information. Um, there's a man who lives in Pateau. Um, He has Down syndrome. And this man named Lee had been giving him rides to church. Well, a few weeks okay. ago, Junior decided he would tell what had happened. And Junior had been being sexually assaulted by that man giving him rides to church. Uh, that man named Lee, uh, I don't have the last name yet. I know it will be in the paper on the 5th. Um, he was a registered sex offender who failed to register when he got there to town. And I've noticed that the uh, Church of Christ seems to have a prison-type ministry going on. Um, does, yeah. your, does your church have that? We, not a full-blown prison ministry. We have a local, like a local jail here oh. uh, that we have in the past that people to. It's been closed to us, but I heard it recently back up, so we maybe walk back in. Yeah, well, what I've found across the country is some churches will have like a ministry outreach and they will get these guys getting out of prison or halfway houses and throw them in some type of uh, Christian oriented program, you know, to give them little work history, stability, uh, you know, that type of things. But they're basically harboring registered sex offenders. Right? Yeah. yeah. And that becomes a problem. It's just like that here in Albuquerque as well. So I've just seen it. Um, and I've also seen... Um, the SDA church cover up uh, a lot of stuff uh, and, and their connections to the Church of Wales, uh, the Branch Davidians, Church of Waco, Texas. So, yeah, I just want to make sure that Junior has a safe environment there in Pato as far as him going to and attending any churches. Okay, so... Uh... But it's your understanding this has already been reported to the police and... Oh, the man's already... Yes, sir, the man's already in jail. He got picked up last, uh, either Wednesday night or Thursday morning. Okay, good. Okay. Well, uh, I'm thankful to hear that. And Junior, is this one of your family members or... No, he's not a family member. Like I said, uh, I get calls for various things. Uh, sometimes, well, it's usually always involving helping people. Um, but, if, you know, some of this research that I've done, uh, yeah, it, it doesn't look good, especially, okay. you know, for the local church community there. If the Church of Christ knew about this and they did nothing to report it, suspicious, whatever, yeah. So I, I'm just okay. making sure they're not going to try to cover it up going out the back door. So, um I just wanted to make sure that Junior and, and that Lee guy hasn't been attending your church or that, um, that you know of. Not to my knowledge. I, mean, I don't know. You know, without last things, I can't be sure. But, yeah. Uh, as far as I know, they haven't. But uh, I do appreciate you kind of taking steps to protect Junior in this situation. And so I'm thankful that the police are involved and uh, hopefully justice will be done. Yeah, well, the thing is, you know, he's got Down syndrome. And, and you know, this, no matter, I have no idea how this is going to change his perception of Jesus. Yeah. And I don't want him to think that Jesus, that this is a normal thing, you know, in churches. It's not. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. And then he's going to need some spiritual and emotional support because he is taking this to court. Yeah. So, uh that's what I'm calling. Well, thank you for getting back to me. I appreciate it. Oh, sure. Yeah. Thank you, Joanne. Uh-huh. I'm fine. All right.